Hello, this is logarithms lesson one basics. This is the first lesson of log. So I will discuss the basics in this. Now this chapter is very easy, but important chapter as you can solve the questions of this chapter in exam very easily. So let's start with the basics how the logarithm came into the picture. When I write n is equals to a raised to the power x, it means that I am expressing n in terms of a and x. I am expressing n in terms of a and x. Same way I can write a as n raised to the power 1 by x. Same equation. Here I am expressing a in terms of n and x. What about if I want to express x in terms of a and n? This is my x. So you want to express x in terms of a and n. Then the log came into the picture. x will be log of n to the base a. This is written as log of n to the base a. Now important thing here to understand is that what are n and a? n is a positive real number. Very important thing. n is a positive real number. a is also a positive real number. But a is not equals to 1. The reason means that log of 1 is 0. I will let you know in detail in just a moment about the why a can't be 1. n is a positive number. It means that we can't get the value of log if a number is negative. For example, log of 2537, this is defined because the number is positive. Log of 0 0.000537, this is also defined because number is positive. But log, if you want to calculate log of minus 537, this is not defined. So log is only defined for positive real number. Number can be in fraction or integer, but number should be positive. What about the base? Base A can be any real number except 1. Now first concept that comes in the log after the basic definition is that log of n to the base A. This you can always write like this. Log n upon log A. You can expand this like this. Very important concept or you can see the most important concept in log. You can open like this. Now here I have not mentioned the base. Now if base is not mentioned, it means automatically means that the base is 10. So it means that log n to the base 10 log a to the base 10. This is the same thing. If you want this or this is same. No difference. If base is not given, it automatically means that base is 10. For example, log 8 to the 5 can be written as log of 8 upon log of 5. If you want to write base, it's your wish. Otherwise, you can write without base. If nothing is mentioned, this is same. The base will be 10. So very important concept log of n to the base a can be written as log of n upon log of a. So what about log of n to the base n? Expand this log of n upon log of n by the same concept I discussed in the previous slide. If the base and number are both same, this value will be 1. Nothing is mentioned, you can always assume that base is 10. This value is 1. What about log 1 to the base a? This will be 0 log of 1 is 0 if log n upon a this is equal to log of n upon log of a if a is 1 if a is 1 the base is 1 then we know that this will become log of n log of 1 is 0 so anything upon 0 is undefined so that's why in, in the beginning i told you base can't be 1 so base number could be positive real number except 1 next is other concepts log of base a x into y there, num there are two numbers in product so this can always be written as log of a to the base log of x to the base a plus log of y to the base a both is true you can product become plus plus become the product for example log of this 60 log of 60 to the base a can be written as log of you can say that third 4 into 3 into 5 to the base a because 60 can be written as 4 3 is a 12 5 is a 60 you can always write like this log of 4 to the base a log of 3 to the base a plus log of 
5 to the base a product become the plus otherwise vice versa is also true if you want to write like this log 5 upon base x plus log 6 upon base x you can always make that this will be log of base will be x 5 into 6 that is log of 30 to the base x next is when division is given log x by y to the base a this can always be written as log of x by a minus log of y to the base a for example 60 by let's say 7 this can always be written as log 60 to the base a minus log of 7 to the base a another concept is log of x to the base y this can be always written as log 1 upon 1 upon log y to the base x if you interchange the number and base the reciprocal will be there why so again we can easily prove this as log of x up to the base y can always be written as log x upon log y now you can always like this write like this log y upon log x this or this thing is the same thing now what about this this is log y upon x this can be written as log y to the base x very important log x to the base y if you want if you interchange the number and base it will come in the reciprocal for example if you want to write log 8 to the base 5 this will be equals to 1 upon log 5 to the base 8 next concept is log x to the raised to the power y when the base is a so power will come forward this become y log x to the base a power will come forward for example log 5 2 raised to the power 7 this can be written as 7 will come forward 7 log 2 base 5 or if it is given that vice versa let's say 8 log 3 to the base 5 this 8 will go forward as a power so this becomes log 5 3 raised to the power 8 next is x log x raised to the power log of y to the base x the power the number and the base is same then its value will be this is the power complete power then its value will be y for example if i want to say 7 log 29 to the base 7 the base and this must be same then this value will be equal to 29 how so i can easily prove this you can assume that z is equal to let's say z is equal to x i'm assuming raised to the power log of y to the base x now taking log both side take log both side take log both sides what will you left you will have to log of z is equal to log of x complete number x raised to the power log of y to the base x this way i have taken log both side now i just told you that the power comes forward so this is the power this power will come forward the power is this complete number log of y to the base x this will come forward so this will become log of z the power will come forward power is log of y to the base x this is the power this comes forward and the number will remain as it is log of x the power came forward now this will be equal to log of z you can always write like this log y upon log x you can always expand log of y to the base x as log y upon log x as i discussed in the previous slide the log x and log x will be cancelled out so log of z is equals to log of y no base is given you can always assume that take and the base as 10 so z will be equals to y so it means that the value this is equals to z that's what this was z so z will be equals to y as we have proven this so this is an important concept that you straight away need to understand next is if log of m to the base a is given to you as log of n to the base a 
where a is definitely not equals to 1 a is a positive real number then we can always say that m will equals to n this will be always true we can always make m is equals to n for example if log x square minus 5 to the base let's say a where a is a positive real number other than 1 a is not equals to 1 a is positive real number positive r this equals to log of same base a 52 then you can always say that x square minus 5 x square minus 5 will always be equals to 52 very important concept when the base is same and it's not equals to 1 or negative then you can always not take the number as equal so that was all about the basics of logarithms you must learn this basic you must understand these rules of logarithms thoroughly so that in the next slide when i discuss when i will discuss the question you must be able to solve them so understand the concept thoroughly we will discuss the questions based on the concepts that i discussed in this slide in the next lesson so thank you have a nice day